Today on Jerry Rides, first episode of Will It Start? Will, Will It Start? Oh! We have a 1990 Polaris Indy 500 liquid cooled, the best sled Polaris ever made in the 80s. We also have a 1990 Polaris Indy 340 Lite, the worst sled Polaris ever made. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> so we're gonna continue working on this 500 Polaris here, and I'll bring you up to date with what I did so far. Clean the carburetors, I got my choker cable adjusted, air screws adjusted, one turn out from all the way in, my idle screws adjusted, Two turns in and I got that needle straightened out. You saw how that was bent like an Allen wrench. I got the fuel line and the fuel filter taken off. Got the old gas out of there and carb cleaned the filter. I got a new filter on the way. It's just not here yet. The fuel pump seems like it is working, although I did get a, re a rebuild kit on that. I'll probably clean the carburetors again because they're filled with basically water and snot right now. I think we're going to have a chance of getting this going because the plugs are already good and everything else seems to be working just fine. So Keep this rope on this bike at all times so I can pull Mike out of mud holes. So today we're going to pull Mike's sled out with this you had Mike a rope specific to pull rope. me out? Yeah. Literally for you. And you didn't even mention it? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a, oh that was a lot of traction. Yeah. You got a nice little trench here. All your gasoline goes right down there. <laughs> Put on the record that I did not do that to his belly pan. That was like it when we got it. That was a selling yeah, point for Mike. Up. As in the last video, there is a Sasquatch hiding somewhere in this video. You need to find it. Get the timestamp and send it to me on Instagram. The first one gets a Ride More t-shirt from the RideMoreStore.com, which you can also check out and buy some t-shirts for yourself. You could be the actual first person to find Squatch. Taking the tank off. You really can't get your hand up in there to get that one oh, little bolt out? Yeah, yeah, the track's completely in the way. Seriously. So we're just gonna get a cordless sawzall I have and cut that puppy off and we're good to go. Come on, let's go tool shopping. Circular saw, impact, staple gun, drill, grinder. There's the tool. That's what you want right there. Oh yeah. Just dump gasoline. <laughs> It's one thing that makes me happy, it's huffing gas fumes. You'll have to dump the rest on Travis's bonfire. Wasn't that a beautiful sight, that last video? It always is. Just... Ooh. Whoa! Wow. You're pretty slick with that thing. Now I'm gonna attempt to put this back on the hose. No wonder it fell off. Now that won't be an issue. I'm happy about that. I got that old flow and the filter all fixed up. So the idea here is to put the hose on the top, pump out all the good gas which is on top, the water's on the very bottom, and keep pumping until we see the water, and that's how we know when to stop. Pump it up! Soaked in gas again. Travis is over there working on his gold wing, and he's got the kitchen set up on the picnic table, cooking us some cheese dogs. All right, dinner. Lunch. Lunch, breakfast. <laughs> can you explain what eating a cheese dog is like to these people? I mean, I don't think I can do it without going and pass the X-rated. Carb clean time. <laughs> oh! That oatmeal looking stuff just came out of the car. I think that's chalk from the chalkboard. That's what ethanol looks like once it cakes up aluminum and does horrible things to the insides of your fuel systems. It's all this corn syrup they're selling us. When you're going from ethanol gas, you move to the third spot. The second spot's for normal gas. So carbs are clean and we just siphoned through some more of the uh, the water that was in the lines and now it's completely just gasoline. Yeah. Moment of truth coming up. How many poles? Carbs are empty, right? Yep. 10 to 12. 10 to 12. I'm going to say 12. Five. Five? There's no way. Seven. Eight. I see some sweat. Nine. Ten. This is it. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen poles! Fourteen! Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, buddy! So coming up on Will It Start, we got this one, which will be in this video. We got the Panther, we got the Skidoo, and the Articat ZR800. So stay tuned for those. It'll be in upcoming videos. Lights in the name! <laughs> <I can't>... Whoa! <laughs> 
<laughs> this is about 400 pounds. That's about 470 pounds. It's got Mike's racing number, 69 on it. Even though they're similar years, they look very different under the hood. I was expecting to see the same carburetors, but... I give this puppy a 60% chance of rehabilitation today. 60? Yeah, I give it 100. I, I gave that one a 90% chance. This one's down to 60. Look at this. The needle's got a whole white yeah. film on it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Pablo Escobar over here. <laughs> You guys want to learn something about Pablo Escobar? He had so much money that he actually brought hippos to Colombia. When he was murdered and the police went in and killed him and all that crazy stuff happened, he had like his own zoo and the hippos got out and they are now wild in Colombia. And they're from Pablo Escobar and they got out and they now live in the wild in Colombia. Who's Pablo Escobar? It's a famous drug dealer who did lots of cocaine. Copyright work? No. <laughs> <laughs> Crack it open. Like a melon. Oh, oh, what the? That is the worst carburetor I have ever seen. It looks like cottage cheese. <laughs> Small children, close your eyes. This is going to be graphic. That white stuff is aluminum oxide, ethanol, corrodes it all. You can see the pitting. More modern sleds use a different alloy in their aluminums that's resistant to the corrosion at least, not the gumming. Well, that's why this one was white and the other one was like green. Gas test, here we go. Lifting it up so we can see the gas. Not much in there, but Mike says he sees water. Give us some poles. Yeah. Nothing? Nope. I just want to have gas shoot out here from pulling it. I want to make sure that the pump's pumping. Looking like the fuel pump is going to have to get looked at here. I bought one for that, which doesn't need it, and it's a different pump. This is actually a rare. I haven't seen these with double lines on them. I've seen ones with the boss, but I'd have to drill it out. It would work from pulling the engine over. Right. Unless I didn't have any crankcase. But we do, because you felt some. Yeah, fuel pump's bad, buddy. All right, Mike's over here with a fuel pump. Look at that. Oh, oh nice. Something like that. All right, yeah, okay. That's a good sign. Travis is over there trying to get the uh, panther going prematurely. That'll be an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that one. Mike Holy. just got the uh, yeah. fuel pump back on there, so now we're going to give her some That's shots. What we had. See if we get some fuel through yeah, there. It looks like olive oil and... <laughs> Just managed to pull it over. Jamie's holding a sled up over his head. Mike's pulling. We got some gas to come out of the fuel lines. Yeah, so the pump's working. So the next job was to empty that gas tank and get all that nasty stuff out of there. Oh, some juicy goodness. Bad colors. That was not brown when we <laughs> left, man. That's a full bucket, man. We got another big fire. <laughs> what you got, Travis? Oh, 10 year old gasoline. Tennis ball. Oh, tennis ball. Oh boy. There you go. That gas is just water. That is exactly where I poured five gallons of <laughs> gasoline. <laughs> That's why they don't work when they sit. Okay, okay moment of truth it. here. We got some ether. We have to use it. And that uh, mic's going to pull. Travis is going to shoot. There she goes. Okay, just running on ether right now. Got to run by its own power. Definitely running on its own. <laughs> it's idling. <laughs> no way. Two sleds in one day. We did it. It's engaging everything. Yep. <laughs> Dude. Running like a top, really. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Pulled the wheelie. That's got more power than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta fix that ski and then we can really rip it. A hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. Okay, so Mike grabbed the ski that we found in Travis's woods. The ski sword. The ski sword that he's gonna try to, uh, well, now he has to cut this bolt off, but he's thinking he's gonna try to put it on his oh. sled. Oh, look at that. Lubed up like it's 1990. Yeah, look at it coming right out. There you go. Hey. Almost straight. We gotta move this one over a few notches, but hey, making progress. So this is how you properly that doesn't look very good. align your skis. I can't see what you're saying, so. Measurements. Yep. Wow, that was so easy. Yep. And now it runs perfect. 
and it steers straight. And now it's going to wheelie perfect. <laughs> I'm very impressed. <laughs> Me too, man. I'm pumped. All right, airbox is in. Oh, Mike's going to have the uh, the cheapness down for yeah, sure. Yeah, he is. If I compete on this one. If he competes on this one, yeah. So that's two sleds running today. Two Indies, an Indy 500 and an Indy 340. If you guys like this video, make sure you let us know down below. Give this video a like, subscribe, show your friends, all that stuff. If you want to keep seeing videos like this, be sure to let us know. We need your help, all right? We need your guys' help. Blow this stuff up and we'll bring you more, better stuff every single time. We're in timeout. Help us get out of there. We'll see you guys.